Hello everybody, welcome back to some Skyrim. My name is Mathia, and we are going to screw these guys over. Oh no. So I just became not a vampire. So I really hope that this does not make me a vampire. Because that sucks. I would really love to stay not a vampire. But, uh, welcome back, guys. And today we are going to be finishing the Thieves Guild questline. At least I believe we are. We are entering the Twilight Sepulchre. And I'm pretty sure that that is the very last bit of the Thieves Guild missions. And then after that, we're going to move on to... I've been wandering alone for so long, I thought I'd never see another... The Dark again. Brotherhood. And it's have to be stopped. They're at Mistwatch. Here, let me show you on your map. If you can stop them, you'll be a true hero. Alright, well, that's an activity for another day. Because my sole goal right now is to finish the Thieves' Guild. What's crazy to me is I actually haven't touched the Dawnguard or the Companions at all. So, I'm going to be doing those extremely soon and I'm, I'm mostly excited for those since I haven't done them all right here we go ladies and gentlemen after a long time another reason I haven't played Skyrim lately is because a lot of different games coming out and college work and I've actually been trying to get leveled up so that I can trade the skeleton key and not get uh, skeleton key is very useful, so I really am going to miss it, basically. So I was getting my lock picking up so that once I don't have it, I'll still be okay when I find master and expert chess. I don't recognize you, but I sense that you're one of us. Who are you? I'd ask the same question the of you. The last of the Nightingale Sentinels, I'm afraid. I've defended the sepulchre alone for what seems like an eternity. We were betrayed by one of our own kind. In fact, I'm to blame for what's happened here. I was blinded. Blinded by dark treachery masquerading as friendship. Perhaps if I had been more vigilant, then Mercer Frey wouldn't have lured me to my fate and stolen the skeleton key. Wow, Mercer Frey got him too. Oh, he's Gallus! I haven't what? heard that name in a long time. Awesome. How do you know of me? That's so cool. I was like, how many people has Mercer betrayed? The key! You have the skeleton key! I never thought I'd see it again. And Mercer Frey? Dead as hell. Then, Finally. Over, and my death wasn't in vain. I owe you a great deal, Nightingale. I did this for Nocturnal. I did this to honor the guild. I did this to get rich. Uh, I'll say I did this to honor the You've guild. You've done the guild a great deal. And although they may not show it, I'm certain they appreciate your sacrifices. My only regret is that you had to undertake this task alone. Carlyle. Carlyle? She's still alive? I feared she'd befallen the same fate, ending up a victim of Mercer's betrayal. Nothing would bring me more pride than to return the key, but I'm afraid it's impossible. From the moment I arrived here, I felt myself, well, dying. Hmm. The sepulchre isn't merely a temple or a vault to house the key. Within these walls is the Ebonair, a conduit to Nocturnal's realm of Everglow. When Mercer stole the key, that conduit closed, severely limiting our ties to her. And I'll have to go alone, I suppose. I'm afraid so. I'm weakening, and I can feel myself slipping away. 
The years without restoration of my power have taken their toll. Whatever damage has been caused can only be corrected by following the Pilgrim's path to the Ebonair and replacing the key. Alright, can't you just take the key? But will I face in the Pilgrim's path? What's wrong with the other Sentinels? How does the Ebonair affect all of us? I wish I could help you. But I've been a prisoner in this very chamber for the last quarter century. The only possible help I've come across are the remains of some poor fellow who is trying to follow in your footsteps. Perhaps his journal can help? Well, shit. The Ebonir is a conduit through which nocturnal influences our world. Not through magic or blessings, but purely through luck. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Your skill is your own. Don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. But Nocturna, she influences our life. Nearly imperceptible assistance we get when we ply our trade. Alright, well... Good luck, Nightingale. Thank you, Gallus. So, I guess it was a bit arrogant of me to think that we would just be uh, finishing everything up by a bit of talking. Looks like we are going to have to go through some dungeon area, I suppose? Ebony War Axe of the Inferno. Okay. Alright, so the journal said basically that the guy didn't know what he saw or what someone was saying down our path so I don't really think that helps us at all we're just gonna I guess deal with whatever comes and oh we have to fight Nightingale Sentinels they're invisible nearly invisible Mafia. And just like that, she's gone. All the arrows, okay. Just give me a moment. I'll be with you shortly. Okay. Dang, and already like that, the enchantments on my sword are gone. Oh, what the hell? Give me sparkles. Here we go. Alright, what do we got here? A bunch of loot. I think what I'm gonna do is just go through the whole thing and then do some looting at the end. If at all. Alright. Bullshit. Oh, I should really be using a shield right now. Come on, come on. <laughs> that looks ridiculous on a ghost. Okay. What in the hell? What is all this? I don't like the look of this at all. Oh shit. Oh, that actually hurts a lot. Dude, what is this area? You just... Whoa. Whoa, okay. Okay, Skyrim. Let's uh let's go ahead and save. Holy shit. 
room is like a thief area, I guess. Because there's a bunch of things kind of traps and shit. Okay. This seems dangerous. Ooh. Oh no, I took a wooden plate. Well, what am I supposed to do? I reached a dead end. Oh wait, no I didn't. I can get past this? What? Oh no, is this a puzzle? <laughs> oh, okay. That just turns off the lights though. What is that supposed to do? Okay, it opens the door. I guess that's because Nocturnal wants darkness or something? I don't know. I just I just pulled the chains that holy shit wants me to. Oh, this is so freaking awesome. Okay. Holy shit! Alright, we're gonna we're gonna take a little healing break and then we'll go. Oh my god, this place is whack as hell. Please don't happen again. Okay. Guess it's a one time thing. What is this? What is all this? What in the frick? Okay, apparently this is a whole ass place. I'm just gonna keep going through the oh interesting <laughs> yeah I'm just gonna go for the main quest line I guess oh snap I'm feeling jumpy right now I'm already getting smacked by traps I feel like I'm about to get touched okay really um, okay. Uh, really? Is this... Is this my life now? Oh, this is Anders. Anders was, uh... I think the hero that went before us. Okay, y'all can read that letter if you want. Just talking about how he died. I... I don't know... That scared the shit out of me! Oh my god! That scared the shit out of me! Skyrim... Skyrim's not one for jump scares. Holy crap! That scared me so bad. Whoa! <gasps> what do we have here? It's been a number of years since I've set foot on your world. Or perhaps it's been moments one tends to lose track. So, once again, the key has been stolen, and a champion returns it to the Sepulchre. Now that the Ebonmere has been restored, you stand before me awaiting your accolades. A pat on your head, a kiss on your cheek. What you fail to realize is your actions were expected and represent nothing more than the fulfillment Shit. of your agreement. Don't mistake my tone for displeasure. After all, you've obediently performed your duties to the letter. But we both know this has little to do with honor and oaths and law. Apologize, you guys. My family rescued a kitty the other night. And she's been sleeping outside, but tonight's cold, so she was meowing at my window and I had to pause the game to let her in, because I'm a humane person. So, here we go again, though. It's about the reward, the prize. Fear not. You'll have your trinkets, your desire for power, your hunger for wealth. I bid you to drink deeply from the Ebonmere mortal, for this is where the agent of Nocturnal is born. 
The oath has been struck. The die has been cast. And your fate awaits you in the Everglow. Farewell, my dear. See to you that you stay this time, won't you? Well, that is crazy. I believe that's the first time that we've actually met a god in I'm Skyrim. You were able to bring the key back safely. Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. I really didn't think that we would ever meet a god. You were able to bring the key back safely. Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know about that. that. To heart is her way. Think of her as a scolding mother continually pushing you harder to be successful, outwardly sounding angry, but silently content. I assure you, had she been displeased with you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. The circles at the base of the Ebonmere imbue you with powers befitting a Nightingale agent. The crescent moon represents the agent of shadow, the half moon for the agent of subterfuge, and the full moon for the agent of strife. Mm. This is Nocturnal's way of maintaining balance. If you ever feel the need to change your abilities, you can return to the sepulchre and step onto a different circle. Be warned that once you've chosen, you can't reselect for at least a day. Okay. Your life as a nightingale begins. Should the need arise, you'll be summoned to the sepulchre in order to defend it. Guild has welcomed me back with open arms. I feel like a void in my life has finally been filled. I only hope that this isn't an ending to things, but actually the beginning. Uh, that's that's bullshit. <laughs> I'm gonna be real honest, because if I can be the the guild master of the thieves guild and be one of these Twilight Sepulchre defenders, she should be able to as well. Honestly. Why, perhaps. The greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. There are pockets brimming with coin and coffers overflowing with riches ripe for the picking. We may be nightingales, but in our hearts we're still thieves, and we're damn good at what we do. Okay, choose nightingale, nightingale role. Huh. The agent of subterfuge? The agent of subterfuge. Utilizes shadow to cloud the judgment of those around him. By weaving the darkness to their will, this agent can manipulate others into fighting for the Nightingale for a limited time. This agent of strife can send forth a tendril of pure darkness into the heart of another, causing great injury to them. At the same time, this tether will bolster the agent's own life force, making him stronger. The agent of stealth is the master of remaining unseen. They are able to manipulate the darkness and use it to their advantage. On moonlit nights or in darkened rooms, this agent literally becomes invisible. I might do the agent of stealth when I'm about to do the Dark Brotherhood as well. Choose your path and your journey will be complete. I think, I, was afraid you'd become I think me standing on one of the platforms accidentally made me choose one of those options. Would have come true. So I'll just change it later if I want. What will you do now, my love? Nocturnal calls me to the Everglow. My contract has been fulfilled. Will I ever see you again? When your debt to Nocturnal has been paid. We'll embrace once again. Oh well, Gallus. Eyes open. Walk with the shadows. Goodbye, Carlyle. One last look. Nice and, and he's gone. What is it? Nothing. I mean, 
Where will you be from now on? How will I know if I'm needed here? If this place is in danger ever again, the shadows will call. Should the That's creepy. Rise, a portal connects the sepulchre and Nightingale Hall. Use it whenever you wish. Okay, there's, there's one at Nightingale Hall. Alright. Okay. Alright guys, I think that's the end of the Thieves Guild questline as a whole. Yeah. Wow, alright. Well, I mean, that was pretty badass. I can't believe we actually met Nocturnal. So, if the Thieves Guild really is done now, I guess I can just go back to that platform. Well, I mean, not I guess. I, I definitely can go back to that platform and change whenever I desire or so choose to. And since so since that's done, I'm going to give the Thieves Guild a rating. I believe 7.5 out of 10 is good. And 10, I would say, is on a scale of, I don't know. Jedi Fallen Order story, and I know this is just one of the storylines of Skyrim, but the reason I give it that rating is because it took a long time for me to get to be really cool, but once they did the Mercer Frey betrayal and stuff, from then on till here, it got really good. So that bumped up the score to a 7.5. And, and I, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm really excited to do the companions and the dawn guard so i think what i'm gonna do is smash through the dark brotherhood as fast as i can and get on to those and i'm excited i'm excited for that i'm also going to switch up my armor and if y'all can hear the cat i apologize i'm gonna go feed her and so if you love cats if you love skyrim if you're excited to watch the dark brotherhood questline leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one